the greatest brains in show business. And now here's our end man, the face that launched a thousand clips, Sid Melton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And on my left, five feet, 16 and a half inches of solid muscle and a brain to match, Mike Mazurki. Thank you, Sid Melton. And on my left, a doll who's as pretty as she is smart, and maybe even more, Miss Gretchen Weiler. Thank you very much, Mike. And on my left, a man who is real George, George Tobias. Thank you, Gretchen. And now on my left, our quiz master, or shall I say mistress, none other than the charming Pat Tobin. Thank you, George Tobias. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lines and Find. Let me tell you now just how we play this new game. I will tell the panel what our subject is, and we let you, our viewing audience, take a peek into our secret studio, like this, with Ed Cooper, where we give you the correct answers to our questions. Now, if the panel members do not correctly answer the questions, Renee will collect their fine and put it in our big fine barrel. And later, you will see how you, our viewing audience, can win the valuable gifts which our panel must forfeit for their incorrect answers. But now, let's play lines and pines. Where should we start? Um, with the refrigerator door, I think. Uh, the, uh, the door. That sounds like a good place to open. Oh, oh, no. God. oh Get no. away. All right, George, now we switch to our secret studio where Ed Cooper will take just a minute to give our audience the correct answers. Thank you, Pat. Now, most of you know that Admiral makes two distinctly different kinds of refrigerators, conventional and dual temp. Now, for the most part, the first half of our show will be on Admiral's line of conventional refrigerators. But, of course, you realize that a lot of these features are common to both the conventional models and dual temp. We'll take the door features first. What's so great about the famous Admiral Thermador? It's strong, built so it can't warp or buckle. Now Pat's going to ask them about this. Look, Admiral's balloon-type rubber door gasket makes a perfect self-adjusting seal. Keeps cold in and heat out. Adds to Admiral's economy story. Well, that's it, so let's get back to the panel. Thank you, Ed Cooper. Everybody ready now? All righty. I was in an admiral showroom just yesterday, and I saw a salesman standing there with his fingers caught in the closed door of an admiral refrigerator. Now, what was he demonstrating to his prospect? Mike? Um, uh, no bones in his fingers? Oh, Mike, no, I'm sorry, you're wrong, you must forfeit. Gretchen, can you do any better? Well, I would say he was demonstrating how to get something out of the icebox without opening the door. <laughs> no, oh, I'm sorry. Forfeit, please, George Tobias. Well, he just wanted to show that in case I was to get my nose caught in the door, that it was absolutely safe. Oh. George, that's part of the correct answer. Wonderful. Oh. The salesman was demonstrating the action of the balloon gasket in Admiral's Thermador. And it's a perfect cold seal. It's self-adjusting, and it's safe. Now, this is an egg, as you can readily see. Now, what special provision has Admiral made for keeping it in the 1953 refrigerator? Sid? Well, sir, they, uh, they provide, uh, a chicken with every icebox, so that... Oh, please, Mr. Huh? Melton, this is not an icebox. This is the Admiral refrigerator. Oh, so sorry, Mr. Tobias. <laughs> they, they, they provide, a, a refrigerator with every chick... No, they... <laughs> got me off of, I'd pass, I don't know. Oh, I didn't hear Mr. Forfeit with that passing. Uh, Mike, do you have an idea? Well, uh, I guess they hang them up. Well, you know, you're right. They hang them up on the door. Admiral has a set of handy...